Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here, and I want to provide everyone with some DJI Phantom 3 buyer's advice. Now, before I begin, I want to introduce myself and my background uh, real quickly with drones. I've been using drones since the first version of the DJI Phantom. So I've used DJI Phantom 1, DJI Phantom 2, DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus, and now the latest and greatest DJI Phantom 3 Professional. It has a 4K 30 frames per second camera. So what I want to do is provide you with my expertise as to which drone you should buy, which, which Phantom 3 you should buy and why. And I'm going to go through it in a great amount of detail. So if you're, if you're shopping for a drone, you found the best video right now. And I'm going to step you through everything in a plain English fashion. So if you're an advanced drone user, you're welcome to watch this video, but you'll probably laugh because it's going to be very simplistic. So the first thing you're going to want to do is decide, do you need 1080p HD, which is high definition. You, know, you turn on your TV, you probably have high definition by now. That's probably more than sufficient. Or do you want to take it to the next level and film in a resolution that will look good on those new 4K Ultra HD TVs? So if you want to future-proof your content, your videos that you're creating for fun, you're going to want to go 4K, so you're going to want to go DJI Phantom 3 Professional that I have here. If you don't care about having 4K video and you want to save a little bit of money, go Phantom 3 Advanced because it's, it's, uh, you're getting the same drone. The difference is, is the camera. So on it, you're going to be limited to 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is still really good, but it's just not 4K. So if you need 4K, get you a Phantom 3 Professional. And again, you can find all of this that I'm, that I'm talking about within this video's description. Check the link within this video's description, and you can go to uh, 400orbelow.com and find it all. And if there's something you want or need uh, that you don't see there, just drop me a message by way of 400orbelow.com or irixguy.com, and I'll reply and send you, uh, I'll be happy to send you direct links. Now looking at this Phantom 3 Pro, you're going to notice there's these bright orange things, and then there's black things on this side. Those are very important, especially if you're a, if you're a beginner with drones. And I'm not a beginner, but I now use these as a way to, uh, to save money. Because what these do... These are quick disconnect prop guards. And you just snap them in and you know, easy in, easy on, easy off. Just snap right in, no tools. You use a tool to install them initially and I've got a video step by step showing you how to do that. But once it's installed, these are quick on, quickly on, quickly off. And what they do when you're landing or or when you're in the air, maybe you make uh, close contact with a tree, these are going to better prevent your propellers from hitting that object and breaking your propellers, possibly sending your uh, Phantom 3 plummeting down to earth. So, you know, just a smart way to be more safety conscious. Also, uh, I think they look cool. They come in a variety of colors. Again, check the link within this video's description. I've got them all listed there. Um, but when you're landing, and, and as you become more of an expert, landing is probably not going to be an issue. You're probably not going to tilt over. But if you do what I do, and you land on front of a boat, you know, when you're anchored, that boat's rocking a little bit. So when I land my Phantom on a rocking surface, even though my, my landing may be perfectly smooth, when it hits, the boat may rock, and it may fall to the side. And that's another advantage for me for these prop guards because if it does fall to the side after it lands, there's a greater chance that my propeller will, uh, will likely, not make, uh, likely not make contact with the, with the boat so it'll save my prop. Props add up. I mean, they're not, ex they're not super expensive, but if you're, if you're breaking props every other time you're landing or, or flying close to a tree, you know, it can really get to be... Uh, it can really get to be expensive. So these things, in essence, will pay for themselves. 
and that's something you need to get for sure, are the quick disconnect prop guards. Something else you're going to need, and this is something that that's a necessity. You need a waterproof and ruggedized case. Because when you're transporting your drone to and from the field, you know, you could inadvertently uh, could fall over in your car seat or it could, uh, you, know, you could step on it or you could drop it. This is a waterproof and ruggedized case and it comes in a variety of colors. It floats. And you can even attach uh, TSA approved locks if you're flying in an airport, checking it below the plane. Put you one or two TSA locks on it. It enables TSA to open to inspect, uh, but it uh, keeps curious people in the in the baggage claim area out. So definitely a case. I mean, definitely a a must have when you get your uh, when you get your Phantom Three. Something else you need to get is this. If you're an Apple device user, iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, this is a short cable. The cable that comes with your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod Touch is really long. So if you're using it, what's going to happen is that you're going to have an extremely long cable that you're going to have to wrap around to make it neat. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of hanging down. This is short, so when you put your... Uh, when you put your iPhone or your or your iPod or your iPod Touch up there, see how short that is? So you need to get that. Something else to be safety conscious, not that I've ever had it happen, and I don't know anybody personally it's happened that it's happened to. But it's a good idea for your batteries to get a LiPo bag. Now what a LiPo bag does. You put your Phantom 3 battery in there when it's charging or when it's not in use. And what this bag does, and, and obviously I've never tested it and I hope I never do, uh, but what it should do is better protect in the event that the battery combusts. Because if the battery catches on fire, it's not going to be a pretty sight. But this bag may, and I, and I emphasize may because I've never tested it, but it may better prevent a fire. So it's just a good proactive measure, very affordable. Again, you can find it within this video's description too. But just add added uh, peace of mind for your, uh, for your drone. And other than that, the, the things that I recommend, those are going to be your basics. You're probably going to want to get a few extra batteries because, I mean, obviously when you go out to the field, one battery with 23 minutes or so of battery life is probably not going to be enough. You're going to want to fly more because it is so much fun. So you'll want to get some extra batteries. Uh, you know, that's, that's about it. You know, it's, it's, not a, it's not a daunting hobby. A lot of people think, oh, man, I want to fly a drone, but I don't know how to, how to do that or what to get. And that's why I posted this video. So I hope this video helps. Again, check the link within this video's description. Go to 400orbelow.com and you can order it all there. If you don't see what you're looking for or if you, you know, have questions or you want something additional, drop me a message and I'll do my best to answer. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.